Johnny, today is Monday, 27th of November 2017. I'm just uh, ringing Willie Pater to see what happened up in <coughs> Hokianga. Hopefully he's there. A few things going on. Hi Willie, it's uh, John Wano right here. Uh, you can give me a call when you get a chance. Thanks, um, I'll catch you soon. Bye. That's Willie Pater. <coughs> now I'm just um, putting videos, 19 of them. Oh, there'll be one or two um, not quite um, on the subject of the Cook Street property we're going to see this week on this video is cited the um, original British titles, deeds, of Morris Lobo Baker up in Tahiki or west of Hokianga um, Township, about 20 miles out, 20, 20, 20 minutes out. Um, so his title, 10 blocks, that he's recovered. And therefore, uh, for Manukau, his ancestor is uh, Hori Takuri, uh, the father of Hiramaya. Then it transferred from Hiramaya to uh, Lobo uh, Morris Baker on the deed titles. That's the commercial landowner titles on the big blocks. Um, so, um, Hori Takuri's father is uh, Rameka, buried at the back of the Ratna church that uh, Morris has made his home, his dwelling. And uh, I've stayed there twice, uh, the last time for five days. And I'll pick up all the history there of that church being the first Ratna church uh, to be um, extended from the Methodist Church at uh, Mangungu uh, Mission House or uh, Mangungu um, Village. Uh, it would have been populated in that times when the British first came in there. They set up a treaty there and I'm saying it's the Treaty of Mangungu uh, first signed by the British with the residents there, Hori Takuri and his ancestor um, at the time, um, Ramaka, was a minister in the Wesley Church, or Wesleyan Church, Wesley Church, in um, uh, Filinaki, in that area where the Russells were living in, as uh, native uh, court assessors. They were determining the status of native lands, not Maori, native lands at that time. 1862, 11th of November, New Zealand Land Act was formed in Pukekohe or Oetawa, um, uh, belonging to one Paramount Chief, Rewha Rewha Manukau. He signed with um, Rogan, the land agent, for the British Crown in Awaroa Hillensville Native Magistrate Court. <coughs> so you have one Native Magistrate Court in Helensville that formed the Awaroa Bank under the Magistrate of Britain, UK and the Manukau. And you have the other Native Court Magistrate in Rawani the Hokianga Harbour, upper reaches, uh, further inland. And so you've got the Rawini, the native courthouse, British native courthouse, the Russells, and Clinton, 
James Reedy Clinton, captain on a ship. That's the magistrate, the captain on a ship, which is what I am, the captain on a ship of Admiralty there, and the ship of the king as surrogate King William IV. And the eight point star right there. So they were going under the eight point star and King William the Fourth there. This is my authority that I'm exercising now with this flag that King William gave us with the eight point star on it, right there, in the four corners of the earth, north, east, south, west. That is our flag, the highest of esteem and admiralty in the world of commercial trading bank land patent titles. Crown land patent titles of King William IV, Britain, UK at 1834, the 11th of March 1834, this flag was the flag of New Zealand, still is the flag of New Zealand at Okiato in Kororareka. We are hooking it back to Te Rawaikato Wharehere in Manukau and King George IV, the first private contract under this admiralty of brothers to brother, King William IV to King George IV brothers, 1820 to 1830, and Te Rawaikato Wharehere in Manukau. Sale purchase agreement, private contract. The same contract that was transferred from Te Rawaikato Wharehere in Manukau to King George, Crown Land Patent. Britain, UK, and then transferred the same title from Edinburgh Magistrate Court in Scotland, Britain, UK, through the Westminster Native Westminster Magistrate Court to King William the Fourth, eighteen thirty to eighteen thirty seven, transferred to the referee for Monaco, commercial landowner of New Zealand country, that country title and the Pacific Islands sold by his ancestor Te Rewaikato Whare Hire Hire Monaco, 1820, 1830, to King George IV. So now we have referee for Monaco. From the period of 1834, this flag, that came the flag of New Zealand, to 1862, he's still alive, signing a contract with Rogan, that's on this book here. Rogan, right here, the receipt here, on the 11th of November. 1862. That formed the basis of the New Zealand Native Land Act of 1862, Rafael from Manukau and John Rogan, Awaroa Native Court in Helensville. So there we have that contract that is the basis of our claim all the lands of New Zealand and Pacific Islands came out of that title transfer of deeds of the whole country into smaller blocks and that was Pukekohe, that title right here, Maori deeds right here in 1862, that's when the Maori Land Court took over in about 18, 1945 and here, Married Deeds of Land Purchases in the North Island of New Zealand, Volume 1, says here, Uetaha Block, Pukekohe, Manukau District. And Uetawa Block, Pukekohe, in brackets, Manukau District, all in uppercase, that's companies. Kōrero, Kōrero, Mai Ki Ao Ma Te Rokina, E Rima, Pauna, Takitahi, Maku Ine Moni, E Fakahokia, Ki Ia Ina Rite, Te Utu, Mo Ta 
mawa whenua ko Uetawa. A, Uetawa, ko pukakoi te ingoa nui o Tawa Whenua. Signed Manakau. Unsigned Referefa. Akarana, November 11th, 1862. That formed the basis of the New Zealand Native Land Act 1862, which, by the way, the Manukau, Mohi Mati Manukau, the first, the second, the third, and Mohi Manukau here, as a Freemason for 50 years, continued that Referee for Manukau title inside Te Uriaho, uh, Whakapapa here, and all the four tribes that now became a Maori land title under this Whakapapa with Wānua, Rogan and Manukau names inside this title that I'm claiming to be the executor of the Moriori Manukau Trust and the Rogan, Wānoa, Cosgrove, Coat of Arms, Northern Ireland, um, Belfast. An eight point star from Belfast here. And the King William III, um, he's surrogate king. And the municipalities as judgment creditor against okay, third party judgment debtors, Queen's agents, land agents and their corporations, private corporations and public corporations are now bill against this title, Whakapapa, and jurisdiction of Admiralty, Court Martial Law and Freemasons, the documents in this book belong to the Freemasons and our Scottish connections in the St. Mary's Church in Edinburgh, the Holy Grail, St. Mary's Church in Tikitiki, 1831, on my Wānoa, Uataha, Potikiroa ki Waiapu, County of Waiapu, County of Ma Matakawa, under these titles. Okay, so now I'm telling you, on this video, I'm citing the Ratna Church of Mohi Manukau, here, as an Apotoro, and as a Ratna minister, with the Rogan family, John Rogan and Morris Rogan, land agents and surveyors, formulated the Whakapapa of Te Uriho and the tribe called Ngāti Whātua and Ngāti Whātua o Ōrake, Iwi Māori was formed out of this Manukau Wānoa Rogan family. Now, I'm going to tell you that the Apotoro in that native church is Mohi Te Māti Manukau, the fourth, died in 2009, thereabouts, and left his estate and his inheritance to me as his executor of his Moriori Manukau Trust. And I'm holding all his titles and all his Freemason contracts. They have nothing to do with the Manukau family. And I want to tell you something straight. This Rogan married, family married Wano on the Marangaro B3 block, Marangaro Marai at the time, and Oraiti Wano. That's the connection with that Rogan. And the native land court in Gisborne became the main court because our tribes down they call Nati Pro, that's the Iwi Maori's tribe, didn't put up a fight. So they retained at least 93% of all their lands where Ngāpui and Waikato and 
Tainui and all the rest of Arawa lost their lands and uh, that's as a result of fighting against the British establishment and that's still ongoing now. The British still have title over this country according to this Moriori Manukau title right here in Referefa Manukau that I just showed you. This is the Magistrate Court portable and the acts of King William the Third, of King William the Fourth, sorry, King William the Fourth, 1837, is instructions for this flag that he gave us. He gave the chiefs, <coughs> paramount chiefs. He gave the paramount chiefs, not the Maori chiefs or anything to do with Maori government or anything like that. He gave it to these paramount chiefs, Manukau, for their contract with King George IV. Okay, the whakamania that I'm talking about in Referefa's time comes out of this flag in this whakapapa of Mohi to Mati Manukau back to Referefa Manukau here and Tera Waikato for Hiri Hiri Manukau in their stamp standing next to Hongi Hika. Hongi Hika did not have the contract. He did not have the contract in this stamp, in the stamp we have with the colour book. So you I just want to show you the colour. Well, well it doesn't matter whether it's colour or not, but Tera Waikato is, is in the stamp with Hongi Hika and Bishop um, Thomas Kendall went to England in 1820. And that's when this was put together to join that contract with here. Hongi Hika didn't sign no contracts. He wasn't interested in it. Just the same as Bundy's not interested in it coming from up there. That's his ancestor, the Cook Island Maori. And there's no indication of any contract with Hongi Hika but only Refere for Manika, I mean, I mean Tera Waikato for Hele Hele Manika. So that's what I'm going to say at this stage that there's Hongi Hika with the spear in his hand and Tera Waikato for Hele Hele Manika without a spear. He was a man of peace and shed no blood. That's in, in King William. This is my authority to act and speak for the King and the police arrested me and stole the shirt off me. I just got it back last Friday on the 24th of November 2017. I was given my shirt back by the Auckland Central Police CIB detectives, Natalie Flower Dew Brown, who arrested me and stripped this shirt and the King's authority that I hold off me and for that there's a big price to pay. It's up to me to make that call and I will make all the decisions from now on in our own native court because the court failed me to have my own court hearing and was only assumptions of the hearing that came out with me absent from the court. And that's unprecedented and fraudulent. That was squarely on the shoulders of Shannon Withers from um, his practice there um, and their business, their, their company, will be bankrupted for doing that to me, for, for not having my day in court. I've got it on the text, it's on a mobile phone, locked. It's locked on the time he said to me, and send the text, at my court hearing was the following week, not that day that I went into court. It was on my court papers, what date I was, and he didn't give me my day in court. On that date, on that basis, it was fraud to the maximum. Uh, so now we've got the Ratna Church and Mohi Manukau, who set up with Rogan that corporate structure of the fake Ngāti Whātua tribe to make the titles 
on the Maryland Court through that Native Land Court Act. 1862 of his ancestor, Rafa Rafa He told me all the stories. I've got them all recorded here, films and everything, of where Rafa Rafa Manukau went. He got captured by the British forces and locked on Kawa Island. And the chief there was uh, Te Apihai Kawa. Um, and this one of Tinana and, and um, um, Tamaki and Tuaire. Tuaire. Uh, Tamaki and uh, Kawa, Apiha to Kawa, Apiha, Apiha. Um, so those three chiefs made a deal with and were formed that Ngati Whātua o, o Rake tribe and it belongs to the Iwi Māori Crown, not uh, of New South Wales and New Zealand Government Crown, not British Crown. So that was invented out of our whakapapa, but uh, Dick Rogan on the East Coast was not in that lot. And also the Manukau's from Mangatotu was excluded from this Ratna whakapapa with the Rogans. It went straight, Mohi, when we went, he took me everywhere for six years, marking out all the unmarked graves of the Manukau's. And he took me to even to Kohiro's meeting in Manirua, uh, where they, where they, all their chiefs met. Uh, that's Mary Forbes or uh, Alfred. And he took me, while well, we spent more time in all the years I've known him since 2002, somewhere around there, before the um, foreshore seabed. I did his claim, uh, the Y121 on the foreshore seabed claim and also I had my own claim registered but never took it any further. I, I, I was the last one to get a treaty number, a treaty uh, application and to get a number and left it right there, locked. Uh, so Mohi Manukau was responsible inside the Ratna church to fashion his Manukau title around the Maori land court titles to sell land. The land was already sold, but so he was selling land legally, British land, under the New South Wales jurisdiction. And that's where the problem is. The problem is the Ratna Church on Titi Marae, Hayward Brown and his family and Peter Peroni in the Waitangi National Trust Company, private, NZ Invest, Invest, private company in Mahu Street, Crescent in Auckland Central. I used to live across there, Tapora Street, number four, number two. And also Intuition News Unlimited. That company was responsible for administering all the Crown Corporation's business under the Queen Elizabeth. She abandoned the ship of Admiralty and took off into the EU Parliament now as a threat against our Paramount Chief's Mani Parapara Mohini for the Moriori Manukau Trust Company and Lobo Morris Baker for Hori Tikuri. On that end of the Ratna Church he's living in as proof that his ancestor was tied up on that land block as the commercial landowner of all the Hokianga district in the far north district. I've marked it and put it online as a British title. Not the New South Wales broken down blocks, but the big blocks where he has deed titles already claiming back. Um, putting those two titles, those titles with Refa Refa Manukau's titles, with Tilawakato's titles in Edinburgh, Scotland, tied to the birth death marriages of St Mary's Church in Tikitiki on my land blocks and the Rangitukia Native Magistrate Court, the old school house, or the old school there, still there, where the Magistrate Court was linked to the registrar inside the St Mary's Church in 
Kekiti. On my Urupa, Wano, Urupa, Marai, Rahui Marai. They have locked that together with St. Patrick's Church Order, my Rogan family, and of judges, and they serve as Freemasons and also the Cosgrove Lawyers um, coat of arms in Northern Ireland, Belfast, DUP party, Arlene Foster, first Prime Minister of Northern Ireland. That's my family and that's where I go into Westminster under Arlene and the DUP party with the Maui King William party and Matt Taylor in Brighton is looking after that and our corporate crown business, my crown business, my powerhouse group limited limited registered one billion share company in London, UK, Britain. Okay, that's all commercial. This flag is commercial. It's going around the world. It's been going around the world. We're finding who's playing with it and defrauding it. John Key defrauded the public of New Zealand and liable all of its agents. It, he libeled Ian New Zealand as he is a um, um, director in there and he's the chairman of the ANZ Bank and he's going to get this authority and the eight point star that he's wearing is belongs to us and myself right here on the shirt as the proof that King William the fourth gave us this flag and this star of his crown up on his eight point star of his ancestor King William III, the creator of the Bank of England and the pound note that we have as debtor, gentleman, creditor, authority under this round the whole world, free passage with this Navy, Royal British Navy, Philip Jones, Sir Philip Jones as our protectorate for our business going right around the world right now this week. <coughs> so my point is this. Ngāti Whātua Ōraki and Ngāti Whātua tribe in the Kaipara under Nader Clavish is corrupted and fraud and the right in the church is fraud down in Whanganui running a scam business under the Maori Land Court title defrauding the British flag that was given to us. The whakameninga of Le Whare Whamanakau and Te Rewakato Whare Hewhe Manakau and this Manakau Moriori Trust Whakapapa that was fashioned with Rogan judges in the courts, the magistrate courts in New Zealand and Mohi Manakau's Ratna Church. The Ratna Church was created in this little town called Mangungu, four k's up the road from where T.W. Ratna built his first church that Lobo Morris Baker is living in as his home. You see, I've stayed in that home and rang the radio station, Radio Totoko, in Mangamuka, telling his listeners, Pa and Onero, telling their listeners who I am and what I do. I speak for the king, I speak for the Manukau family, and I speak for the flag that the king gave us for commerce, banking, trade, money, gold, assets, and this red cross that's missing on that obelisk with Whakapapa on it, standing right in front of Hori Tikuri Memorial on the top part of the, ma the Maunga above his Taheke Marae. I turned that into a native magistrate court to take these documents from that court into Te Unga Waka Marae, which is here, what we're adjudicating our hearing, for seizing lands back with this writ of control and possession writ of property seizure 
and writ of execution of documents over those lands. These instruments in here belong to the Freemasons and Freemason here, Mohi Manaka, with the Freemasons, 50 years service with Rogan Freemason in Helensville, Awaro, Magistrate, Native, Native Magistrate Bank Court. That's where the BNZ Bank came from, the League of Nations, and then the World Bank. That's uh, through the United Nations. That's our bank. That's our interest. That's our trust. Where the money went from this organisation back to Te Rawaikato, Whare Here Here Manukau in Scotland, Edinburgh. That's where I'm going to Edinburgh. I've got our company there, uh, manager, uh, general manager of the will, uh, 250 countries with this flag, uh, Jackie Little Gordon and her uh, Scottish and her English husband, Andy Little Gordon, operating this business in Scotland, Edinburgh and Belmont, the area where they live, but the business will be run from Edinburgh to replace Prince Philip retired as the Commander-in-Chief. I'm going there as the Commander-in-Chief here for King William the Fourth and King William the Third and King George the Fourth and King, King George the Third. And this eight point star jurisdiction seal seal of the Admiralty Bank. Magistrate Court and prepared to take us around the world with the shareholders. A billion shareholders in 250 countries, a billion each, out of one short of a trillion shares here registered in the New Zealand company, New Zealand. Wellington. There we're going around the world this week with this flag and the My Powerhouse Bank with the Judgment creditor power note. The power notes are in the bank, ANZ Bank. <coughs> I'm arranging that now with Manahi, Parapara Manahi, JP, Justice of the Peace, and Representative internationally as Maori um, in the courts as a spokesperson <coughs> in the justice system here on behalf of our native magistrate courts straight to Britain, UK, under this flag of Admiralty, Court Martial Law Jurisdiction and Legal Authority as our own sovereign state dual government with Britain, UK as the Maui Crown Federal State Government of the World Commonwealth. Okay, you got that? So that's where we are today. I'm just going to ring William again, see if I can get him this time. He might be free. This is a good phone, this, from China. It does an excellent job. And good with video. It's good, it takes good pictures and sound. It's clear. No, I'll leave it. I'll leave it so you know so you can see my call. Um, so, uh, anyway, Willie, I'm just saying this for the record here in New Zealand and um, in Britain. I'm citing these shirt as the offence for arresting me and it carries the charge of one trillion on my birth certificate which was used against me in the court to charge me but the money has come out of my trust account with that name the capital letter name here 
Wanoa and Capital. That's a corporation. And I'm putting this at one trillion pounds for my birth certificate and every other birth certificate that we recover in debts from the Crown Corporations, the Queen's Crown and her elite families, the Rothschild Banks, the Vatican City, uh, City of London, private companies these are, the uh, Washington DC, US Federal State Government, Intuition New Zealand Company here, Cabinet, New Zealand Cabinet, um, Invest New Zealand, Queen Elizabeth II, private company, Queen Victoria Trust, private company, United Nations, NATO, EU Parliament, <coughs> all private corporations linked to Queen Elizabeth II, head of state, church and state, all the churches who have made money from charities using these laws, King William IV, 1830 to 1837. Those are instructions, 86, 87, 87, for our flag that we are now using in our native magistrate courts. We're using this flag's authority for what the king gave it to us for, to use on pirates. You are all pirates, third party pirates. And anybody who's making deals and treaty claims, you are third party, you take the rap on this flag and its jurisdiction that I'm exercising this week to force the law because these videos are put on, the 19 videos are put on that plus the other 1410 videos which, that's on the record, 1410 YouTube videos, any one of those videos is cited fact evidence against you. If your name's on those videos or on any statements I make in capitals or lowercase letters, then you're liable for everything I say against you is a trillion pounds on each thug's head on this side. You see, they put make sure to put my name in lowercase. This is a natural person, a natural person. Somebody here is named Kelv Auckland Police. There. I'm just citing this. This is this is my cited evidence in Korea. Today, I'm citing the evidence of my shirt and the return of my property and the order of receipt here from the property record sheet New Zealand Police item. Okay, so, so you can't read this, but the evidence is there in the date it came back on the 21st of November 2017. That's when it left their office store and it got RTO returned to owner. So it returned to owner. <clears throat> I got it on the 24th of November 2017 for the record that I'm using this evidence against the owners of Cook Street or the proprietors of 77 Cook Street and the owners before that, Doug Rickard Bell and the owners before that, Jamie Peters, who got into trouble and let me do his mortgage, to search his mortgage and see what was wrong with it. I found everything wrong with it. I couldn't find the original owner which was missing, the Monaco, Refo for Monaco, was missing on his title. This Refo for Monaco here with the receipt, selling Pukekohe, Auckland, province area, that the titles were made up. Out of that title, the Ratna Church in Kaipara and Hokianga Harbour, the Hokianga Harbour, they joined the Hokianga Harbour where the British first came in, they joined it to the Kuiper Harbour, where the Freemasons put all the titles together, and the Freemasons are liable too. 
because they formed that relationship with Mohi Manikau, the Rogan, my family, and then the Manikau Harbour, right, the North End at Puponga, at Cornwallis, that's where William Simons came in, and his father, and his father, William Simons, 1st Lieutenant, 23rd Regiment in Edinburgh, put that title together there with Te Rawaikato Wharehere in Manukau before William Simons came to Puponga and dropped those immigrants had already pre-bought that land, Manukau land, from the Manukau, Te Rawaikato Wharehere in Manukau and that's when they used Rewhere for Manukau from then on Mohi Manukau and his Rogan family on that side of the Rogan family formed this whakapapa because he gave this to me he gave this to me with this log with the four main tribes of Arawa, Waikaro oh it's got Ngāti Whātua and it's got Waikaro, Aotea, Waikaro, Pukpuke, uh, Ora Puke that's the Moriori, see he put his waka there too Moriori, uh, Ora Puke and then Waitaha the Pākehās tribe from the South Island, Aotea and then you've got Uh, Ngāpui and Te Arawa. right, so that's, him and I put this together over some time period and how they formed that Ratna church as a native church to put the church titles of the Native Land Act 1862 of Refa Refa and Rogan together then Mohi Manukau picked that up and carried on with that legacy of a tampered with instrument of a British title tampered with to make the New Zealand fraud titles and it's come to a head now the Treaty of Waikani was a fraud because its papers were deep broken and you can't have a contract with bits missing or altered operations on it because it's null and void from that point of view. But there's the evidence, I'm citing the evidence for this video, for the people of the world watching all these videos as evidence against Ratna Church in Wanganui for their part in the native court tampering of the title in Waitangi and Titi Marae, Hayward Brown and the other Apotoros there and the other Apotoros apart from uh, Mani Paraparamohini has always been a sovereign with Jerry Otimi and myself in the early, day, early days in Otahu. We spent a lot of time on the opposite side of the Apotoros. I've never seen him come up to One Tree Hill with those apotoros. Anaru Maihi or Anaru Marsh. You see the name? It's deceiving. Owen Paikia. He's actually a heteraka in the Kuiper. I know them. They're not real Paikias come from where I come from. <clears throat> Alright, I know the Paikias. I know the real ones, but that's how they did it in the Kuiper. And um, Mohi Timati Manako on the female side. That's where the trouble was. Those three Apotoros or Ratna ministers carried on this corrupted Treaty of Waitangi, 1840 Treaty of Waitangi, the 1835 Declaration of Independence flag. That's what they called it. But it was already an 1834 contract flag. The British gave the Paramount Chief. Referee for Manukau. All these titles came out of Referee for Manukau and Rogan from this citation here for the record. It came out of this receipt here and Bundy can't understand what that means in commercial law because I'm doing commercial law as a real estate agent and he doesn't want anything to do with money or what I talk about and that's what Hongi Hika did. 
he wasn't interested in banknotes or any commerce with what this flag is. I'm saying to people flying the flag, it's useless. But you've got it around your head, uh, Hedwini. You've got it around your neck in this photo of us in Te Unawaka Marae in Auckland, just as well as the Catholic Church Marae. And I've got the right people behind it there and behind me and Lobo, um, Morris Baker. Um, John uh, Tahana was at the Hui in um, Taheke Marae on the 18th of November 2017. <coughs> and also he was with his brother, Hinare, in Te Unawaka Marae, right here, with us, swearing this and attesting to its authenticity to sign Referee for Manukau's title to the whole of Auckland province area, right from Te Rere and Wairua down to below Taupo, about 30, 50 miles south of Taupo, right across from the east to the west coast. That's all Ngāti Whātua boundary area. We're claiming all that Ngāti Whātua boundary off them and off Titi Marae and off Waitangi Marae. Waitangi National Trust, we're seizing that off you, that Ngāti Whātua tribe, as fictitious, fraudulent, scam, money-making thugs that we're trying you with these acts of King William IV, 1830 to 1837, raw on you. From this point onwards, it is the law. What I say in this book, what I say with this shirt here, what I say in statements as the coat of arms here of King William III, King William IV, King Ernest Augustus V, King Ernest Augustus I, King George III, is law. I make law today on this video, cited on Monday the 27th of November 2017. We're making law this week according to this Whakapapa and the Wānoa here, Whakapapa, to Tiki Tiki and Rangituhia Native Magistrate Court with Mani Parapara Mohini from that area and the St. Mary's Church as well. Okay, the Wānoa's were bishops of that era and the Ka, the C-A-R-R -R, or K-A-A, -A. Robert the Ka is looking after that part in Tiki Tiki Rangituhia. He's on our committee there as party to this title that we have there on that Magistrate Court to Aorua, Native Magistrate Court in Helensville. That title, I'm holding that title as well on the 10 acre block and the Freemasons documents that I am party to as a partnership ship of Admiralty with the Freemasons from Edinburgh, Scotland, and the St. Mary's Church there in Edinburgh to my St. Mary's Church in Tiki Tiki and the Magistrate Court in Native Magistrate Court in Rangitukia, just up the road, joined at the hip, legally binding on the British Crown land patent titles, right in this book. This is the Magistrate Court, and I am its Sheriff, Registrar of the Death, Birth and Marriage Certificates at one trillion pounds sterling each. Valuation to recover the debt, that's just that, that's not the land. The land mass area is 970 million trillion trillion pound note on your head, John Key. You're the first up in here, going into our court, already in our court, charged with a trillion on your head first, and a trillion thereafter. <coughs> Every day I'm not on Cook Street, 77 Cook Street. I'm going in there this week with this title over the whole of this country, seize the whole country after that, and seize Waitangi and that ship of Admiralty and put it back in Mangungu, in the, in the Hoki and the Harbour, Mangungu Mission House there and away from Waitangi is corrupted New South Wales. We're going back to the British landing, the original title, and seize your titles.
that's what I'm saying on this video. I'm charging you with this head on my head. It's the legal authority, jurisdiction of Admiralty, Court Martial Law, Holy Grail, and St. Patrick's Order Municipalities and the Four Kings that formed this Bank of England, the Pound Note, and the means of collecting debts against you, the judgment debtors, all who are named on that judgment debtors, the sheriffs coming after you. They'll be contracted through this and the company here, registered company here, Ngātua Ewa Aotea Limited, taking over Ngāti Whātua o Uraki and Ngāti Whātua tribes. The Ngātua Ewa Aotea is the four corners of the earth of this land, and it's God's law. Maui, crown, earth crown, that Queen Victoria put in Dunedin, with the crown on his head, the earth crown is the real crown. That's our crown. In this country, and the other Maui in Auckland Museum, that one with the crown on his head is the crown of the whole world in Dunedin, that the Queen was hiding her business here in Waitangi Marae, under the National Trust, the Waitangi National Trust is now bankrupted by me and this eight point star. John Key's wearing the eight point star. It's him or me who holds the power. With what I've just told you, you better ask him where where does he get his authority from? Who? And his basis of claim, proof of claim, of his title to that eight point star when I am the family of Rogans, Cosgroves and Patricks in Belfast, Northern Ireland. Those are my family, here and there, Mr John Key, and that belongs to me. The Moai statue belongs to me, and this flag belongs to me, to use for its rightful purpose, trade, banking, money and security of investment trading with the British Navy and military to protect me and this flag and its business right through the world, free passage through the world and the pound note and trade. Magistrate courts straight to Britain duel with us, the natives, through all the other native countries of the world following what we're doing, we're going there to pick up your native titles and do the same after this one this week. Okay, so Daryl Payne in California and Rene Powers there and um, um, Raymond Faithful and um, uh, Harry up in Canada. Uh, you're waiting over there for me. Um, so watch this space. And also Matt Taylor in Brighton, England. You're waiting for me. And those people who are harassing him, you get a pound note in your head. All of you people that's been doing that on my YouTube site, writing all over it, bad things about Matt Taylor, he hasn't proved it. You haven't proved what he's been doing. That's that's. I'm citing you on that. I've complained to YouTube about um, de de defaming him or being um, putting him down publicly and internationally on my site. Those people, I've taken a note of you. And the sheriff will come after you. Okay, they're on contract with these Freemasons contracts. These documents here are Freemasons, and I'm expecting some protection from them and from the British military to do my job. There are all the acts in here of King William the Fourth, eighteen thirty to eighteen thirty seven that I'm applying and it's law. As of today onwards, we are forcing the extra laws we put in behind the laws we've already got there. Okay? Thank you very much. We'll see you later. Bye for now. Have a nice day.